نحمد و نسلی علی رسول الکریم اما بعد فاعوز بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ولقد ارسلنا نوح و ابراہیم و جعلنا فی ذریت ہم النبوت والکتاب فمنہم محتدم و کثیر منہم فاسقون الى آخر السورة صدق اللہ العظیم We have read 25 آیات of Surah Al-Hadid. First six آیات refer to the person and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At the highest academic level. Then two demands. Aminu anfiqu. Then why do you not have faith? A rebuke. If you feel actually you don't have the real faith, turn to Quran. Second rebuke, why don't you spread for the cause of Allah? And in that, if the conditions are bad, there is no hope for the establishment of the deen of Allah. Still you spend for the deen of Allah, your energies, your life, your time and your belongings. You will have greater regard than those who will be doing it after the attainment of victory. Then what is the objective of it? And that is to establish the system of justice on earth given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And for that a stage might come when you have to go to the battlefield. But that is the last stage. For that, first of all, there should be some propagation of the ideology. Then who, whosoever accept it, organize them, train them. And when this process reaches a certain level, then only you can challenge the system. But the final point has been mentioned. لَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا رُسُلَنَا بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ وَأَنزَلْنَا مَعَهُمُ الْكِتَابَ وَالْمِيزَانَ لَيَقُومَ النَّاسُ بِالْقِسْتِ The same thing as we read in Surah Al-Shura. وَأُمِرْتُ لِأَعْدِلَ بَيْنَكُمْ I have been sent. To establish justice among you. I am not a soothsayer or a sermon sayer or a poet or a storyteller. Nothing of the sort. I have been sent to establish justice. So this is the essence. Now there is a mistake also. When you are told that this life is nothing, real life is of Akhra, of the hereafter. Then sometimes there is a tendency for what we call ascetism, Rahbaniyat, leave this world. Why marrying? Why having family life? Why bothering for all these things? Go to some caves or somewhere else, solitary places. Just remember your Lord have tried to have a communion with Him. But this is wrong. Islam says you don't love this world, but you have to change this world. Live here, change it. You have to be an activist, not a passive rahib, an ascetic, passive ascetic, sitting aside, sitting aside from the world. He doesn't care whether there are injustices being done over here, oppressions are being done over here, though he doesn't care, he is there in his monastery or something else, sitting over there. No, 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 this is not Islam. So this actually was a mistake committed by the followers of one of the Ulul Azmi min al-Rusul. And that was Hazrat Musiya alayhi salatu wasalam. People who came to believe in him, they twisted their religion towards Rahbaniyat, ascetism. So this mistake is pointed out here in the remaining four ayat of this surah. And for that purpose, Allah starts with Nuh. وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلَّا نُوحًا وَإِبْرَاهِيمًا And with and verily we sent Nuh and Ibrahim. And we placed our, our prophethood and the book in the progeny of Nuh and Ibrahim. Out of the progeny of the two, there are who are rightly guided. But most of them are transgressors. Now, summa kafena ala asarihim berusolena. 
دین وی میڈ اور میسنجز ٹو فالو ان دیئر فٹ اسٹیپس وقفین آب ایڈی صاحب نے مریم اینڈ وی میڈ عیسا سن آف مریم ٹو فالو و جال نا فی قلوب الزین تبا رافت و رحمہ فاتین انجیل اینڈ وی گیو عیسا انجیل دی گاسپل اینڈ وی پلیس ان دی ہارٹس آف دوز ہو فالوڈ ہم ٹینڈرنیس اینڈ مرسی اینڈ کمپیشن دس واز اے اسپیشل کنڈیشن یو نو آف دی ہوارین آف حضرت مسیح علیہ صلاحت وسلام و رحبانیت نبت داؤہا بٹ مونیسٹسزم اینڈ ایسیٹزم واز سم تھنگ وچ دے انوینٹیڈ ما کتبنا علیہم وی ہیو ناٹ میڈ اٹ کمپلسری آن دیم دس واز دیئر ڈسیزن دس واز دی رانگ ٹرن دے ٹو کوٹک الابتغار از وان اللہ وی ہیڈ اونلی میڈ اٹ کمپلسری فار دیم ٹو سیک دی پلیئر آف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی بٹ دین وین وی دے اڈاپٹیڈ ایسیٹزم فما راؤ ہا کا رعایت ہا دین دے کیو ناٹ آبزرو اٹ ود دے ڈیو آبزرونس فا تین الزین آ منو من ہوم اجرا ہوم تو وی گیو ٹو دوز آف امنگ دم ہو ہیڈ ریئل فیتھ اینڈ بلیف اینڈ ہو کیم ٹو بلیو ان محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دیٹ کین آلسو بی ون اوور ہیئر ٹو دیم وی گیو دیئر ریوارڈ و کثیر من ہوم فاسقون بٹ موسٹ آف دیم آر آلسو ٹرانسگریسرس سو دس از ٹو پوائنٹ آؤٹ دس رانگ ٹرم ڈونٹ لو دس ورلڈ بٹ لیو ان اٹ ٹرائی ٹو فیشن اٹ ان دی رائٹ پاتھ ٹیک اٹ ٹو دی جسٹس سسٹم آف جسٹس اینڈ اسٹیبلش دی دین آف اللہ اور ہیئر دس از دی ٹیسٹ آف یور فیتھ اینڈ یور ایمان ان اللہ سبحان و تعالی یا یو الذین آمنوا تقوا الله وآمنوا برسوله یوتکم کفلین من رحمته او یو ہو پروفیس ٹو بلیو بلیو ان اللہ ہے فیر آف اللہ اینڈ بلیو ان ہز میسنجر وٹ ڈز اٹ مین the real conviction that the model for us is the person of muhammad we have to follow him he was not an ascetic he didn't start a monastic type of system no he fought for the cause of allah he was an activist he challenged falsehood he took his men to the battlefield led them to the battlefield You have to follow him. See how during the Makki period he propagated his ideas. Then those who accepted Iman organized them, trained them with the permanent order. Then no retaliation. Whatever persecution comes to you, verbal or physical, you don't. You have to take it patiently, without any retaliation. But then, when he thought he has now enough strength with him, he challenged the falsehood, the system, the ascendancy of Quraysh. He fought them, and then he established the Deen of Allah in the Arabian Peninsula. So this is the model. Don't follow any other model. You have not to follow the model of Jesus. No. Model for you is Muhammad. لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ عُسْوَةٌ حَسَنًا Jesus had his own methodology. But you have to follow Muhammad صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم. You are the Ummah of Muhammad. So here you know, اِتَّقُوا اللَّهَ وَآمِنُوا بِرَسُولِهِ Emphasis on Iman, on the Messenger. يَا اَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا تق اللہ آمن رسول اللہ ول گو یو ٹو فولڈ فرام ہز مرسی نور یو دی لائٹ ود وچ یو ول بی ایبل ٹو واک ٹو واک ان دس ورلڈ آلسو یو نیڈ اے لائٹ گائیڈنس اینڈ ٹو کراس دیٹ برج آف اسرات آن دی ڈے آف ججمنٹ یو ول بی نیڈنگ اے لائٹ اللہ ول گو یو بھائی اکثر لکھوں وٹ ایور شارٹ کمنگس اللہ ول فار گو دم و اللہ غفور الرحیم ویری لی اللہ از فار گونگ مرسی فل لے اللہ عالم آہر الکتاب اللہ یقدر اللہ شاہین من فوق اللہ سو دیٹ دی پیپل آف دی بک شوڈ ناٹ تھنک دیٹ دے ہیو ناؤ نو ایکسس اوور دی باؤنٹی آف اللہ دے ہیو دی ایکسس 
دے کین ایون ناؤ بلیو ان محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کم آمن بھی رسول ہی یو بلیو ان موسا یو بلیو ان ابراہیم اینڈ سو آر اینڈ سو فورتھ کبر بلیو ان محمد آلسو سو آل دی فضل یو نو دی گیٹس آف فضل یو نو دے ول بی اوپن ایز وی ریڈ ان سورت بن اسرائیل اسار ابکم یار ہمکم وین اتم ردنا یور لارڈ از ریڈی ٹو ہیو مرسی اپون یو ایون ناؤ گو یو انڈر دی شیلٹر آف دی میسنجر ہڈ آف محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دی گیٹس آر اوپن لے اللہ یقون آر الکتاب اللہ یقدرون آر آشین من فضل اللہ ان الفضل بھی ید اللہ یو تھی ابن یشا دی باؤنٹی از ان دی ہیڈ آف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی اٹس ہز پریروگیٹو ٹو ہوم ہی وانٹس ہی گرانٹس اٹ و اللہ حضر الفضل العظیم And definitely Allah is of infinite bounty. Now we come to Surah Al-Mujadillah. The first four ayat of Surah Al-Mujadillah, they discuss a particular issue of family laws. But the rest of the 18 ayat, they give us a picture of two parties. پارٹی آف سیٹن پارٹی آف اللہ ایز وی سین وین یو نو دس دعوا دس کال ٹو اللہ اینڈ دی کال ٹو اسٹیبلش دی سسٹم آف جسٹس گیون بائی اللہ وین دس دعوا از گیون دس باؤنڈ ٹو بی اے ریزسٹینس دین دیر بی اے پولرائزیشن ان دس سوسائٹی سم پیپل ہو کم ایکسیپٹ دی کال دے آر ریڈی ٹو ڈیوٹ دیئر لائف ایون لے ڈاؤن دیئر لائف for the cause of establishing the deen of Allah. They are the party of Allah. Ulaika Hizbullah. They are the party of Allah. And there are those who oppose it to the nail. Even they sacrifice their lives to, pro- to protect their interests. But they are the party of Shaitan. Ulaika Hizbush Shaitan. Now this has to be identified. This struggle, this conflict, If we have a concept of mazhab, there is no conflict whatsoever. You go to your church, I am going to my mosque. That's all. He is going to the temple, he is going to the synagogue. Nothing. No argument. But regarding the system, a few people here are resenting. These multinationals, what is happening? What happened in Seattle? Then at Davos. But these, these things are to happen. So, when there is the question of system, it's a different matter. When only it's a system of belief and a system of some modes of worship and some rites and rituals, And some fees, so oh, they're okay, you can have your, I can have mine. But this conflict, if you want to establish the deen of Allah, then there is going to be a conflict. No escape. So this surah mainly, but you know that his was shaitan consists of two types of people. One are who are openly opposed. the disbelievers, the rejectors of the faith. And there is the other element, the hypocrites, who are legally with the Muslims, with the Hezbollah, but they are the fifth columnist. Fifth column. They look to the interest of the kuffar, working against the interest of Hezbollah. So this is very important surah regarding this. One thing must be clear here. This establishment of the deen of Allah is not possible without a party. Individuals cannot do it. It's very simple, very logical. An individual can go on calling and calling and calling and calling. But he cannot establish the system of Allah. without having a party. If he doesn't get a party, okay, he won't be able to establish. If there was no party available to Nuh, no harm to Nuh, 
the people were drowned. Muhammad got Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam a party. People who were ready to sacrifice their lives, to spend everything they had. So then there was a struggle, there was a conflict, which reached the level of armed conflict. The polarization became complete. Hezbollah versus Hezbollah Shaitan. And then, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the help and the deen of Allah was established. But party is essential. So first of all, please note that if you have the concept of Islam as that of a deen, you must think that to strive to establish the deen of Allah is farz. Farz ain. It's a duty. It's obligatory. Not something additional. Not something optional. No. It's not like tahajjud. No. It's farz. Like the five prayers. Like the fasting of the month of Ramadan. Number one. And number two, this is a farz which cannot be fulfilled without a party. Just as you cannot pray without wuzu. Wuzu is not required in itself. The wuzu is the precondition, prerequisite for salah. Really what you want to do is salah, prayer. But for that, this is the precondition of wuzu. In the same way, the farz is to establish the deen of Allah, to try, strive your hardest to establish the deen of Allah on earth. But the prerequisite that you should be, you should be a part of a party, belong to a party. If there's no party, you stand up, call people towards you. They will join hands with you and it will be a party. If you are two, you have to pray in a jama'ah. One is amab, the other is muqtadi. If there are two, you are a party. One is Amir, the other is Mamur. But not without a party. But when this party swells in numbers, and you know their commitment and depth of commitment reaches that level, and you know their determination to sacrifice everything reaches the, that level, required level, then there's a the direct confrontation between Haq and Batil, between the truth and the falsehood, between the Hezbollah on one side and the Hezbollah Shaitan on the other. So this distinction between Hezbollah and Hezbollah Shaitan is the main axis of this Surah Mujadala. But in the first four ayat, as I told, there is a special family laws issue. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Qad sami' Allah qal lati tujadiluka fi zawjiha wa tashtaki ila Allah. Verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala heard the words of that woman. Who pleads with you, O Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, concerning her husband and makes her plea to Allah. An incident took place. Aus ibn Sabit Ansari radiallahu anhu. He did zihar with his wife, Khala bint Salaba. Zihar in the old Arab tradition was that if a husband said to his wife, you are to me like a mother or like the back of my mother. Now they are separated, divorced, and there can be no, you know, reunion again. That's whatsoever, no way. Complete, permanent separation. Now in a fit of anger, Asim bin Sabit said this to his wife, Khala bin Salaba. They had children. Now Khala came to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. She was weeping, crying. What shall I do? What has this, my husband done? Where will these children go? How shall I support them? Weeping, crying. Oh, Muhammad, find some way for me. And the Prophet said, I don't find any way. No revelation has come to me up till now. But then the revelation comes. And Allah said, لَقَدْ سَمِعَ اللَّهُ قَوْلَ الَّتِي تُجَادِلُكَ فِي زَوْجِهَا O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, verily, indeed, Allah has heard the words of that woman who was pleading with you, O Prophet, concerning her husband and make, also she was making pleas to Allah. O Allah, send some, open some door for me, O Allah, where can I go? So Allah said, we have heard. 
واللہ یسما و تحاب و رکما اینڈ اللہ واز ہیئرنگ دی کنورسیشن بٹوین یو ان اللہ سمیع بسیم وے ریلی اللہ از آل سیئر اینڈ ہیئر ناؤ کیب کمس دی سولیوشن اللہ دینا یو ظاہر ان کو بھی نسائد دوز آف یو سے کنسرننگ دیر وائز بی ایز مائی مدرس بیک ماہنا ام مہات ان ام مہات ہم اللہ ولد دے آر ناٹ دیئر مدرس دیر مدرس آر اونلی دوز ہو گیز برتھ ٹو دیم وہ ان نہم یقول نہ من کرم من القول اینڈ شیورلی دے آر سینگ اے ویری لوت سم ورڈ و زورا اینڈ اے لائی ان اللہ العفو ان غفور ویری لی اللہ از پارڈننگ فار گیونگ و لدین ظاہر من نسائم سما یعود علما کالو ایز فار دوز ہو ڈو دس دے ہارٹ ٹو دیئر وائز بٹ دین دے وانٹ ٹو ٹیک بیک فتحریر و رقبتن من قبل یتماسا سو ون سلیو ہیز ٹو بی فریڈ بفور دی ٹو آف دیم ٹچ ون اندر دس از دی فائن ذالکم توعظون به واللہ بما تعملون خبیر دس از ٹو وٹ یو آر ایگزارٹیڈ بائی اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی اینڈ ویری لی اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی ہی نوز اینڈ ہی از اویئر آف وٹ یو آر ڈوئنگ فار ملم یجد ہو سو ایور کین ناٹ فری اے سلیو ہی ڈزنٹ ہیو دیٹ مچ منی ود ہم ٹو بائی اے سلیو اینڈ دین فری سیٹ ہم فری فسیام و شاہرین متطابعین من قبل یہ تماسا سو ناؤ ہی ہیز ٹو کیپ فاسٹ فار ٹو منتھس کنزیکٹیو منتھس بفور دی ٹو آف دیم ٹچ فن اینڈ ادر فار ملم یس دتا اینڈ اف سم بڈی از سک ال ڈائبٹک فار ایگزامپل اینڈ ہی کان ڈو اٹ فار ملم یس دتے فائی تام و ستی نہ مسکین دین ہی شوڈ فیڈ سکسٹی انڈیجنٹ پرسنس ذال کا لے تو مینو بل و رسول ہی اینڈ دس از سو دیٹ یو شوڈ نو اینڈ بی کنوینسڈ that you have the real faith in Allah and His Messenger وَتِلْكَ حُدُودُ اللَّهِ and these are the boundaries of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَلِلْكَافِرِينَ عَذَابٌ عَلِيمٌ and for the disbelievers there is a very painful chastisement now these are the four ayat which have a different issue altogether but now the issue connected with Surah Al-Hadid because these two surahs are our pair Now that conflict between haq and batil, deen haq and those who oppose it. Inna al-lazina yuhaddun Allah wa rasoolahu. Verily those who oppose Allah and his messenger. Yuhaddun is from hadid. The same root. Had, hadid. Yuhaddun, yuhadidun. Baabe mufa'ala. موہینگ یوم یوم سوم اللہ جمیعن فی نبی ہوں بے معامل ہوں آن دی ڈے ون ہی اللہ ول ریس دیم آل ٹوگیدر اینڈ دین ہی ول ٹیل دیم وٹ دے ہیو بین ڈوئنگ آسا اللہ اللہ ہیز اللہ ہیڈ کیپٹ اے ریکارڈ آف دیئر ڈیڈس و نسو دیئر فار گٹن و اللہ علیہ کل شین شہید اینڈ ویری لی اللہ از اے وٹنس ٹو ایوری تھنگ علم ترا ان اللہ یعلم ما فی السماوات و ما فی الارض ڈونٹ یو نو That Allah knows whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth. مَا يَكُونُ مِن نَجْوَا سَلَاسَتِ Now this is the fifth columnist portion of the Muslim Ummah, the Munafiqoon. They, they used to have secret meetings, secret consultations, planning against the Prophet, against the Muslims, going to the Jews and you know saying that we will be with you and so on and so forth. So this secret counseling Allah knows everything which is in the heavens and the earth. مَا يَكُونُ مِن نَجْوَا سَلَاسَتِنِ اللَّهُ وَرَابِعُونَ There is nowhere a secret consultation between three of them. But the fourth is Allah. 
ہوا محکم ہے نا محکم تو ویر ایور یو آر ہز ود یو تو یو تھنک وی آر تھری نو یو آر فور اللہ از دیر بلا خبصتن اللہ وہ سادس ہوں اینڈ اف دے آر فائیو دین اللہ از دی سکس ولا ادنا من ذالک کا اینڈ نو لیس دین دیٹ ولا اکثرہ اینڈ ناٹ مور دین دیٹ اللہ ہوا ما ہم اے نما کانو بٹ ہی از ود دیم ویئر ایور دے آر Now we had this ayat in Surah Al-Hadid. Huwa ma'akum ayna ma'akuntum. Here only the pronoun has changed. Huwa ma'ahum ayna ma'akanu. Summa yunabbiuhum bi ma'amilu yawm al-qiyamah. Then on the day of judgment, on the day of resurrection, he will tell them what they had been doing. Inna Allah bi kulli shayin alim. Verily, Allah knows everything. Alam tara ilal lazina nuhuwa ni najwa. Don't you consider those who were forbidden from these secret counselings? This comes in Surah An-Nisa also, also at some other place. But now these these ayat, as I've told you, they have they were revealed in the last period of the Madani days. Summa yaudun ole manahu anhu, but they are doing what they were prohibited to do. Vayata na jau na bil isme valudwan me masiyat ul Rasool. and they are having secret consultations among themselves for sinning and enmity and this obedience to the messenger wa iza jaa'u ka hayya ka bima lam yuhayya ka bihi allah and when you they come to you o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam they salute you with what with which allah has not saluted you the salutation in islam is assalamu alaikum these munafiqoon when they used to come they should say Assalamu alaikum ya ayyuhan nabi Assalam means death death to you o messenger Assalamu alaikum Assalamu alaikum omitting the lam in between If somebody said what have you said oh i said assalamu alaikum what has happened to your ears go and get the wax out of your ears i said assalamu alaikum but this was their method وَيَقُولُونَ فِي أَنفُسِهِمْ لَوْ لَا يُعَذِّبُنَ اللَّهُ بِمَا نَقُولَ And then they say in their hearts, whatever we have said, why is not Allah chastising us? It means He is not the Prophet of Allah. Had He been the Prophet of Allah, we have, we have insulted Him. Allah should have chastised us immediately. But He is not doing it. It means He is not. It proves it is, He is not the Messenger of Allah. حسبهم جهنم يسلونها وبيس المص وبيس المصير. For them, sufficient is the hell, and they will enter it. So, and it is a very bad and evil destination. يا أيها الذين آمنوا إذا تناجتم فلا تتناجوا بالاسم والرضوان والمعصية الرسول. Oh, you who believe, if you have ever to consult secretly, your secret consultation should be. not for sin or enmity or disobedience of the rasul wa tanajau bil birr wa taqwa do this consultation for virtue and piety wa taqullaha allazi ilayhi tushrun and fear allah to whom you will be gathered anyhow inna man najwa min ash-shaitan this secret counseling party within party the hizbullah but they have a special group in that hizbullah so this is conspiring in the man najwa min ash-shaitan this najwa is actually from satan le yahzun ladina amanu so that he those who believe they should be hurt wa laysa bi darrihim shay'an but he cannot do any harm to them illa bi iznillah but with the permission of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa ala allah falyatawakkal almu'minun and verily in allah should all the believers put put their whole trust ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu idha qila lakum tafassahu fil majalis fafsahu yafsahi allah lakum o you who believe when it is said to you make room in the assemblies then do make room what used to happen you know the muslims have gathered the prophets there some consultation on some matter is continuing now these munafiqin used to sit in one corner very close to each other whispering to each other so that others shouldn't listen 
and you know when it was said okay the first of will majalis open the place between you why are you so much group together so for the believers it was the commandment whenever it is said make room in the assemblies do make it room allah will make room for you ya sahillahu lakum wa iza qila li shudu fa shudu and when it is said stand you should stand when it is said the, the assembly is dismissed the parade is dismissed now you go but they used to keep sitting over there and and continuing their you know mutual consultations fanshudu yarfa illahu alladhina amanu minkum walladhina utul ilma darajat allah taala would exalt those of you who believe and those who have been given the knowledge wallahu bima ta'maluna khabir and verily allah subhanahu wa ta'ala very well knows and is aware of what you are doing ya ayyu alladhina amanu idha tanaja idha najaytum ar rasul fa qaddimu bayna yadayya najwakum sadaqah who you who believe when you have to have a secret meeting with the messenger of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala these munafiqeen because they were very wealthy people to show off that we have a special position they would say ya rasulullah i want to say something to you in secrecy so please give me time now the other congregation thinks that he is very close to the prophet and prophet listens to him so now to put a check this order came when you have to you will want to have a secret and private meeting with the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam faqaddimu baina yadayna najwakum sadaqah give alms before your counseling give something to the poor before doing this zalikum khairul lakum wa athar this is much better for you and more purer fa in lam tajidu fa inna allaha ghafurur rahim but if you are very poor you don't have anything okay allah is forgiving and merciful for the poor there is no harm but those rich munafiqs if they want to have a secret meeting and hearing with the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam they should give something in the way of allah first and then come now those people they loved wealth like anything now they stopped ashfaqtum an tuqaddimu bayna yadayya najwaqum sadaqa have you become afraid of giving alms between your secret meeting with the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam faislam tafalu when you didn't do it mataab allah alaykum and allah subhanahu wa taala has relented on you okay he is is giving the concession mataab alaykum fa aqimu salata now at least establish this salah properly wa atu zakah and do pay zakah definitely wa atiu allah wa rasuluhu and obey allah and his messenger wallahu khabirun bima ta'malun ay verily and surely allah is aware of what you are doing alam tara ila alladhina tawalla qawman ghazab allah alayhi have you not considered those who have become friends with those on whom there is wrath of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who are they the yahud maghzub alayhim maghzub alayhim yahud and these munafiqs they had friendship with the yahud they are in some cases working agents to yahud الم ترى الى الذين تولوا قوما غضب الله عليهم ما هم منكم ولا منهم these munafiqs these hypocrites are neither from you nor from them they are sincere to neither you nor them they are sincere to none they are not sincere to allah they are not sincere to the messenger of allah how can they be sincere to to the jews but you know they are after their own gains wa yahlifuna ala alkazib and they take oaths on something which is not which is not true wrong and lie wa hum ya'lamun and they do it knowingly a'ad Allah lahum azaban shadidan Allah has prepared for them a very severe chastisement innahum sa ma kanu ya'malun verily is very evil what they are doing lan tughni anhum amwalahum wala auladuhum min Allah shay'a neither their riches nor their children will be of any avail for them from allah subhanahu wa taala ulaik ashab an-nar hum fiha khalidun they are the dwellers of the fire and they will remain in that forever yawma yabasuhum allah jamian when allah will raise them all fa yahlifuna lahu kama yahlifuna lakum they will swear before allah also as they swear before you wa yahsabuna annahum ala shay and they will be thinking that they are upon something they have some footing Allah, innahum humul kazibun. Behold, 
شورلی دے آر دی لائرس استحفظ علیہ الشیطان سیٹن ہیز گینڈ دی کنٹرول اوور دیم فان صاحب ذکر اللہ اینڈ ہی ہیز میڈ دیم فرگیٹ فل آف اللہ ریمبرنس الا کا حزب الشیطان دے آر دی پارٹی آف شیطان دس پارٹی آف شیطان کنسسٹ آف ٹو پارٹس دی کفار اوپنلی اگینسٹ اسلام اینڈ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اینڈ دیئر ایجنٹس ہپوکرٹس امنگ دی مسلمس لیگلی انکلوڈیڈ ایز مسلمس اللہ ان حزب الشیطان ہم ان کا خاص رون بی ہولڈ ڈیفینیٹلی دی سیٹنس پارٹی دے ول بی دو لوزرز ان دی لانگ رن ان الذين يحادون الله ورسوله اولئك في الاذلين ویریلی دوز ہو اپوز اینڈ فائٹ اللہ اینڈ ہز میسنجر دے ول بی امنگ دی موسٹ ہیومیلیٹڈ ونس کتب اللہ لاغلبن انا ورسلی اللہ ہز ڈیسائیڈڈ اینڈ پرسکرائبڈ اینڈ ریٹن اٹ ڈاؤن سرٹنلی آئی اینڈ مائی میسنجرز ول بی وکٹوریس دس از دی ڈیوائن لا اباؤٹ میسنجرز ناٹ اباؤٹ پروفٹس Prophets were killed also, but no messenger of Allah could be killed. We have read this in Surah Al-Safat. وَلَقَ سَبَقَتْ كَلِمَتُنَا لِعْبَادِنَا الْمُرْسَلِينَ إِنَّهُمْ لَهُمُ الْمَنْصُورُونَ وَإِنَّ جُنْدَنَا لَهُمُ الْغَالِبُونَ This decision of ours has already passed. That those of our servants whom we appoint as our messenger, definitely they will be held and definitely our army will be victorious. So the same thing comes over here. As I told you, important subjects are sub- discussed in Quran at least at two places. So Surah Safat, and here it is. كتب الله الأغلب أن أنا ورسولي إن الله قوي عزيز. Verily, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is powerful and mighty, and He has all the authority in His hands. لا تجد قوما يؤمنون بالله واليوم الآخر. You will not find those people who really believe in Allah and The last day. You are doing a man had Allah. Loving those who oppose Allah. Wa Rasulahu and his messenger. Walau kanu abahum. Although they might be their fathers. Au abnahum or their sons. Au ikhwanuhum or their brothers. Au ashiratuhum or their kindred. Ulaika kataba fi qulubim iman. They are the people in whose hearts Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has inscribed and engraved iman. minhu, And has held them with a spirit from him. That is Jibreel. Biruhil Qudus. And he will make them enter and admit them in the gardens underneath which the rivers will be flowing. Razi Allahu anhum. Allah will be pleased with them waraduan and they will be pleased with him ulaika hisbullah they are the party of allah now this is the polarization on the basis of allah and his messenger people who have belief in allah and messenger to this side those who don't believe on the other side even if he is your father he is enemy of allah you can't love him You can't have any relation with him. Even if he is your brother. وَلَوْ كَانَ آبَاهُمْ آبَاهُمْ وَأَبْنَاهُمْ أَوْ إِخْوَانَهُمْ أَوْ أَشِيرَتُمْ Whosoever he might be. This polarization has to be complete so that Hezbollah it becomes absolutely pure and free. أُولَائِكَ حِزْبُ اللَّهِ Now this word Hezbo Allah appears in this surah. And also in Surah Al-Ma'idah. فَإِنَّ عِزْبَ اللَّهِ هُمُ الْغَالِبُونَ In Surah Al-Ma'idah, غَالِبُونَ The party of Allah will be dominant, will be victorious, will be supreme. And here, أُولَائِكَ حِزْبُ اللَّهِ أَلَا إِنَّ حِزْبَ اللَّهِ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ Verily, the Hezbollah, they are going to be the prosperous and successors Falah is for the hereafter. And ghalabah, domination, is in this world. So there are two promises of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the Hezbollah. Number one, in this world, they will be helped. And 
اللہ ول گو دم دی وکٹری فائن حزب اللہ حب الغالب دس از ان سورہ معاہدہ آن دی راج حزب اللہ اللہ حزب اللہ حب المفلحون ویریلی دی پیپل ہو بلانگ ٹو دی حزب آف اللہ اونلی دے آر گوئنگ ٹو سکسیڈ نا لیٹ می بیکاز آئی ہیو ٹو منٹس لیٹ می گیو یو دی حدیث دی امپورٹینس آف دس جما جیسے حدیث انی آ مرکم بے خمسن دی پروفیٹ سر صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ویری لی او مسلم آئی کمانڈ یو فائیو تھنگس اللہ امرنی بے ہنا اینڈ آئی ایم ناٹ ڈوئنگ اٹ آن مائی اون اللہ سبحان و تعالی ہیز کمانڈیڈ می ٹو ڈو سو واٹ آر دوز فائیو تھنگس بل جماعت پارٹی یو مسٹ بلانگ ٹو اے پارٹی و سم اے and to listen to the leader of the party watate and obeying the decisions of the party wal jihad fi sabil wal hijra and making hijra in the way of allah wal jihad fi sabil allah and then you can make jihad fi sabil allah jihad fi sabil allah essential as we read yesterday in surah al hujurat if there is no jihad there is no iman is the necessary constituent of iman innam al mu'minuna allazina amanu billahi wa rasulihi thumma lam yartabu wa jahadu bi amwalihim wa anfusihim fi sabilillah ulaika humus sadiqun verily the true muslims are only those who believe in allah and his messenger then doubt not and then they do jihad in the way of allah with their belongings and their lives this jihad for that you need a party this party should be a very disciplined party some of that listen to me so anil haris al ashari radhi allah ta'ala an qala qala rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam inni amurukum bi khamsin allah amarani bihinna bil jama'ati was sam'i was ta'ati wal hijrati wal jihad fi sabilillah this hadith has been included by imam ahmad ibn hanbal in his musnad also imam tirmidhi in his jami' and this thing has gone out of our sight and out of our mind we don't feel something lacking are you involved in the struggle of iqamatuddin or not if yes with what group which party if you don't like any party existing party go on you can form a party of your own all the parties today which are present They are also, none of them is led by a Nabi. There is no Nabi. No Nabi after Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So you can have the... You are also not a Nabi. Okay, go ahead. And you can have a party. But without party, La Islama illa bil jama'ah. This is the saying of Hazrat Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And the saying of a messenger, of a companion of the messenger is also called hadith. This is hadith. and no less a companion than umar radhi allah ta'ala anhu the second topmost sahabi la islama illa bil jama'a wa la jama'a illa bil imara wa la imara illa bil sama'a wa la sama'a illa bil ta'a the no islam without jama'a no jama'a without amir imara no use of having an amir without listening to him and no use of listening to him if you are not obeying him may allah give us the right guidance and give us the correct understanding of our duties as muslims barakallahu li wa lakum fil qur'an al azim wa nafa'ni wa iyyakum bil ayati wa zikril hakim